and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Howdy folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, and Bob. Boy, we have a treat for you today. Ooh. Today we're going to show you how to get rid of muscle knots in the traps, trapezius, mm -hmm. shoulders, and back in 90 seconds. Exactly. And this is not, we're not hyping it. This is a, an actual technique, and it, Brad's going to talk about how you, it worked on a different part of your body, right? Oh, yeah, I'm excited about this. This is a, a it's nothing new. Uh, it's been scientifically proven by many studies, clinically proven. It started back in the 50s by Dr. Lawrence Jones, um, and uh, originally it's called strain counter strain. Strain counter strain, that's what I remember from my earlier right. days. And, and now it's more often this positional release. Uh, typically a therapist does it, but it's very... Uh, we can teach you the basic parts of this so that you can do it at home. Yeah, we're basically going to show you how to get this area right here, the knot out of right, there, right? That shoulder, that upper back. It's very commonplace for knots. It, it's a few steps, but, you know, just follow along with us and you'll be able to catch, catch Exactly hold. right. So, so, Bob, are we going to... By the way, if you're oh, new to yeah. this channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. When's yeah. this one going up, Mike? He's Saturday. Okay, so we're in between right now. We're always doing a giveaway, but today's the in-between day. So go out tomorrow and check the uh, bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section, and you'll see we're giving away a knee glide, right? Yeah, knee glide. <laughs> uh, you can also, you know, if you belong to us on Facebook, it'll always be pinned to the top of the page all week long. The oh, contest sure. That is. Yep, yep. Go to Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program every day. All right. So, Bob, we've already started with the introduction sure. of this. Uh, we might as well get right to work. So, that why don't you turn around, Bob? Sure. That typical spot, there is a trigger point in this muscle, oftentimes in the levator scapula or the upper trap, that tightness that gets from poor posture, tension, all those things that uh, adds up with life. And it seems to end up commonly right here. Yeah, I feel a little bit there. Yep, yeah, yeah. and, and I, I, every patient I have that I work on a shoulder, I'll usually find that spot and I say, you see that? And I say, don't worry, everyone has it on both sides. But it, when you're tight and it's painful, it's worse, much worse. Uh, so what you'll want to do when you feel that tightness is take your opposite hand and reach over and find that knot. You'll find the muscles a little knottier yeah, there. It's right there. It's an area of hyper irritability. There you go. It's a nodule, basically. Yep. A marble. I had a, in school, we had a teacher say, it's like a Tootsie Roll. And it kind of is. Sure. It's about that size and you'll feel it and it's tender. And when it's really knotted up, it's really tender. So just palpate that and get a a benchmark for how painful it is. Yeah. Now you can do this in a couple different positions, but I'm going to show you how to do it sideline. So if it's the right shoulder that has the knot, then we're going to lie on your left side. You said it right, Brad. Uh, well, Bob, I've been practicing at home. Can I have uh, two pillows? Probably. Yeah, we're probably going to need two pillows. All right, no. I can still palpate that area too in this position. Yeah. Can, can you see that, Mike, in the camera? Or are we getting off? Should like I be back gonna, a little bit further like oh, this? That, yeah, that, that yeah. might help. Now, to, the, the thing about this is it's a positional release, and the position of your head and your shoulder is very critical. The whole idea, the muscle basically starts here and goes up to the head, and we want to shorten that muscle as much as possible. And the whole theory is, is neurologically, that's going to allow the muscle to relax, which is going to increase circulation, blood flow, and oxygen, which is going to allow that knot to release. And you'll feel that when that get that circulation going, everything feels much better and it carries on. So now that we got the theory, we're going to go back to the practice. So Bob is going to take his head, if this is a painful side, he's going to side bend right ear towards the right shoulder. Right okay. The shoulder. And then he's going to look away from that shoulder, rotate. No, I'm going to extend first, all right? Well, we can extend, but not extend. really far. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. So and I'm bringing my head back a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Good job, Bob. Thanks for correcting me. And then look away. So this is kind of an awkward position. And then we need enough pillows so that you can relax and maintain that position. Now, you, you can palpate again. If you feel that painful spot dramatically decreases when you touch it, this is all the farther you have to go. 
then you have a timer and you hit the timer or you look at the watch on a, a clock on the wall, uh, you know, it has second hand or whatever, and you go for 90 seconds in that position. It's critical you go at least 90 seconds in order for things to release. Now, if you palpate and it still feels sore, then we're going to add shoulder or scapular elevation so the shoulder goes up towards the ear. Um, you may want another pillow for this arm and to relax could, in. Or you could even go up like this, you said? Yep, or, or you can reach over the top like this. And you're sure. gonna, and you can adjust yourself however it takes so that muscle relax and the oh, painful spot that yeah, well. feels better there. Yeah. Yep. There. But I can see Bob; his his eyes are relaxing. Things. No, I are, can feel the knot is dis disappearing now. The yeah. one that was there. So what what pain level were you at when you pushed initially? Well, it, it wasn't much. Right, because you're not you're right, not. I'm not a, have but it was maybe at a two or a three. Uh, one or two. I yeah, say that's pretty typical for the average. And now it's gone. That's gone. So yeah. you're there. Yeah. So okay, are you ready? Yeah. Click. The timer goes and the person completely relaxed in a quiet area. Uh, again, 90 seconds. Can you do this at a seated position, Brad? Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, you probably want to do it in a recliner or something where you can get pillows. Maybe we'll show it real quick, seated. We could try, yeah. 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 Well, I wasn't going to, but we're going to give them a bonus. We yeah, might as that's well. right. Um, so I'm going to pretend 90 seconds went by. It's pretty close to 90 seconds. Yeah, it probably is. People are probably complaining we're talking too yeah. much again. Now, it's really critical when you come out of this position, you come out of it slowly. And okay. you just relax. You're breathing. So, Bob, can you get up in a nice, relaxed, slow manner? I'm so breathing. We don't yep, breathing, relax. And when you're done, now you can do some gentle and slow range of motion with your neck. We're not going to get after this and stretch hard on it or anything like that. We're just going to do some gentle motion. Remember that muscles relax. Now we want circulation to continue to flow. Just allow it to continue to relax. Um, also, uh, you can you know do a little massage on it as well sure. if you want. Not hard. You know you don't have to. It's already the knot is gone. We just need to get the circulation improved, and then you're done. You can repeat that. Three or four times a day, because it may come back, particularly if you're tense, if you have poor posture, you're not aware of it, uh, which is oftentimes why that particular knot uh, starts and is uh, originated. Yeah, a lot of times you're not moving and you're concentrating, you're yeah. focused on, on your work, and, and that's how it develops. But right. let's try it in a seated position. Sure. Brad. So, so basically, I'm going to do lateral side bending here. Yep. This will help you even when you're lying down to know what you're doing. Right, the mechanics. So I'm, I'm going to, to the right. Then I'm bringing it back a little bit. Now I'm turning away. There you go. And now I'm lifting this up like this. All right. Now, again, Bob does not have a, a chair to lean into and relax. Right. So and this, that would be a lot better if I wasn't right. a recliner. And, and then you would have a pillow, at least right. one pillow there to rest your arm yep. on. We'd have a pillow yep. here. A, a recliner so you can adjust the angle would probably be ideal for someone on this. I actually got to be honest, Brad. I think I almost would rather do it sitting. Yeah, it, it, it may be a good option. I, I, yeah. I think, you know, again... Then, then, it's one of those then. things in the clinic. It's easier sideline because yeah. you got a patient laying there, and it's easier to that work really, with. That really, that really, oh, snaps it away. Bob, this has been proven. I, I, well, I, 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 I guess I'm a little shocked that it's working that well. <laughs> yeah, you know, because well, it was, it was yeah, there it's, it's and then gone. it's gone. This yeah. is, this is, uh, this is going to be big, Bob. All right. Well, if you want to do it on the other side, I'm going to show that real quick too, Brad. Oh, okay, they, I mean, they might want to try it on the other side. They won't remember the steps. Well, say no more, Bob. So left side. Left side problem. We're going to angle. You're going to laterally uh, side bend. Mm -hmm. You're going to extend it a little bit. You're going to turn away. And then you're going to elevate the shoulder. Yeah. If you don't have something to rest the arm on, if you do it seated, it's not going to work because sure. your muscle is going to contract to hold that shoulder up. So you have to. Yeah, yeah, everything is going to work. So it's not, you can't do it like this. You got to be leaning in a chair. Yep. You got to have support that, supported. The, the elbow and the arm. Um, and, you know, actually, uh, before we finish up, I did this. We're going to do another video. Oh, yeah, on this. that's right. You're going to give the test. Tennis elbow, which we I've been working on this for for a while now with my cross friction massage that's been helping. Um, I did the other mobilization that was helping and then I did this technique. And it really helped. Yeah. I mean, the next day I forgot all about it. It's like, oh, my tennis elbow's gone. It's like, 
And we got to make videos. Yeah, he's going to do a we video. We got to show on this people. Because we, I know there's nothing like when it works on you really well. Yeah, then oh. you get it. It's doubly. I, yeah. I mean, we get excited for our patients, but we, when you feel it in your own body, I got to admit it. It, it, it does. It, it does it, motivate you it, a, a it little be, bit more. It can be a life changer to some extent. <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, well, I, I just remember one of my shoulders bothered me, and I, we did the booyah stick and oh, I took yeah. it away. I'm like, my God, that was a... You must was share. So, so, yeah, share that's right. to the world. All right. People are getting bored of us yeah, now. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> Appreciate it.